Hello and welcome to the new segment on my channel where I will be giving you the chit chat, where I will be giving you the news on everything Sims. Just a very short video to let you know what's going on if you don't have the time to go for like long form videos. Today we're going to be talking about the base game update that came a few days ago and we're going to be reviewing the features that came with it. There are a bunch of bug fixes in this new update which usually comes with the updates which we really need because the bugs in the Sims 4 we are not here for it the base game update also came with this new top which is actually really cute and i actually really like it it also came with this cute new hair that has a pencil in it which i actually find really nice even though i don't really use like maxis match stuff i use alpha cc in my videos but this hair i actually say it's actually quite cute we have an inner arm tattoo which is actually just the sims plum bob which i think is really nice we also had the cow plant tattoos which i absolutely love they look absolutely cool and i love them so much and then last of all it came with a fan and my opinions about this fan are that is the ugliest effing fan I've ever seen and i really do believe that i really do believe that people have said that it looks kind of good in like the plain swatches and i don't really see it it's just not my cup of tea and some people have said that it looks cute so each to their own whatever floats your boat it's fine by me another feature we got from this update we also had a new cash trade the loyal trade which i think we really need more of i feel like the trade system in the sims 4 is really lacking like in the sims 3 i remember there were a lot of trades when i mean a lot of trades there were a lot of trades so i think we really need more in the trade section and also i've noticed that in the sims 4 gameplay trades don't really affect much they don't really affect much in the gameplay and i would really love to see it changing that last of all on the Mikhail sims news is that due to the fact that the sims 4 is going to be free to play as of october 18th the sims team also released a tutorial guide which like leads you to the basic of the game and you know the feedback hasn't been too nice people have been really negative about it and i don't really get why because it's something you can easily like disable from your like game option so i don't see it as a really big deal and the sims community is really harsh when it comes to like sims updates and like i'm just gonna read out the tweet that you know picked my interest on this situation the tweet i found was that i'm not gonna put in the name but here it is the most pointless thing i ever seen in the sims 4 is officially came officially came baby girl if you're gonna write a tweet criticizing the sims make sure it's in proper grammar okay <laughs> is it really we've asked for I never actually realized that's what it said. Is it really we've asked for? This is exactly what I want to talk about. Before you write a tweet, you need to like calm down and sit down. Take a breather before you start typing things out. Because now you've just embarrassed yourself by posting this like, you know, grammatical error bullshit. Because this is actually a feature that The Sims 4 intends to welcome the new simmers that are going to be coming in as The Sims 4 is now free to play. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like supporting The Sims or anything. But I feel like The Sims really tries to put in The Sims community um opinions into the game so i think they're actually trying their best they do have their bad moments cough cough my wedding stories cough cough johnny tabatu and don't get me wrong the sims community is very wholesome there's like it's kind of like the both sides of the moon there's like the bright side and there's the dark dark side of the sims community and i feel like we really need to chill we need to calm down take a breather drink a bit of water and then come back with a fresh mind okay last of all for this new segment is that the sims is going to be announcing something big and there's also been two new kits that have been leaked one with like a strawberry icon and one with like a coffee icon we don't really know what it's about but people are suspecting that it's the announcement of the sims 5 which honestly i'm not really here for it personally i'm not ready for the sims 5 if you are ready for the sims 5 leave a comment let me know what you think and that is it for our new segment if you would like to see more you can leave a like and subscribe and you can also follow my twitter where you know the drama goes on and i would really appreciate it thanks so much for watching good damn bye